Hey, I want to thank my wonderful viewers for the awesome birthday present you guys gave me. Uh, hint. Yep. It was a chainsaw. Stay tuned and I'll explain how you did it. Hey folks, welcome back to Pine Meadows Hobby Farm. I'm your host, Jerry Hansen. On this special episode, it's a thank you to my viewers, all of my viewers, for the wonderful birthday gift you have given me is this wonderful steel chainsaw. Now, how did you guys get me this gift? Well, I'll explain it. About seven years ago, I started the YouTube channel uh, here at Pine Meadows Hobby Farm. And it took me two years to get enough views, you the viewers, to be able to have enough viewage to uh, monetize the channel. So with the addition of uh, the monetization uh, and the creation of some really good content that interested a lot of people, each time they came onto my channel and watched a show, they saw an advertisement. Well, that's where I got the revenue. Because you guys clicked on the show and watched the advertisements, and I got paid through Google, the advertisers. Now, I get 60% of the revenue. Google keeps 40% of the revenue from uh, these ads. But collectively, my checks have become really nice every month. Not great, just nice. So I was able to uh, purchase for my birthday a steel chainsaw. Now, why did I select steel? Well, I asked Marty Rainey, the uh, homesteader who has that homestead rescue program on Discovery Channel, which chainsaw he would suggest. And he said, still, of course. That's not a good Marty Rainey impression, but anyway, you get the point. No, I didn't work out any special deal with Still. No, they're not promoting this channel or partnering with me with this on this channel. But uh, you remember in our episode, Honey, I Torched the Homestead, that aired on Discovery Channel's Homestead Rescue? Uh, Marty made a comment about the chainsaws I had. I, had. I got a couple of free chainsaws from an estate cleanup and uh, one was quite too old to be repairable and the other one is still irreparable i can't repair it so i was gifted with a battery operated ryobi chainsaw which did the job that i was doing by hand uh, over a period of five years on clearing the underbrush and limbs from around my land well when i got that little battery operated chainsaw it helped a lot it made the job go much by much faster but uh, a lot of you don't know something. What you don't know is um, I have a couple of disabilities. And one of the disabilities is I have an electrical malfunction in my heart. So therefore, I have to have a pacemaker. And that's what you see, this little lump under my shirt here. That is an implanted pacemaker. This is the old one that was implanted with a dead battery in it. It just sets right under the skin right there. Just like that. Keeps me on this side of the grass. Now people with pacemakers, according to the manufacturer in their, in their handbook, they do not recommend you use a chainsaw. Why? Because of where your hand is in close proximity to the um, spark plug, you can get an electrical shock, go up your arm across your chest and fry your pacemaker. And then, yeah, 
you'd end up on the other side of the grass. And I might add that these new chainsaws, they have shields over them uh, to protect you from exposure to the spark plug at all. So it's a nice safety feature in there. The older chainsaws, the spark plug was exposed. So that prevented me from using a gas powered chainsaw. So the battery operated one was a huge blessing. Well, the battery in the old pacemaker died. I had to get a new pacemaker implant. So uh, they don't change the batteries, they change the whole pacemaker unit. So when I went and talked my, to my electrophysio cardiologist, that's a mouthful, uh, about the new device and chainsaws, he told me, yeah, you can run a chainsaw with this new device because it's got new features built in. It's just like, all right. Now, Marty's statement said in the show, um, a homesteader without a chainsaw is like somebody sitting in their high-rise New York apartment uh, on their laptop sipping a latte. Something like that. Anyway, I'm a homesteader with a chainsaw now, and I have you to thank for watching my shows and being interested in the programming that I'm offering to you. So let me show you what I got here. I got an MS-211 with an 18 inch bar and chain uh, with the chainsaw. I got it on sale, but it was the mid-size uh, of their displays that I, which I chose and I went ahead and bought that one. I also ended up to extend the warranty on this I went ahead and bought a six pack of their uh, fuel additive. Got a sharpening tool kit for the chain and I got a safety kit. The whole safety kit comes with a uh, face shield, a uh, ha helmet, a uh, earmuffs, chaps, and a hat. Now my son is a uh, He's trained in operating chainsaws because he is a wildland firefighter and one of his jobs is using the chainsaw so he got appropriate training with the chainsaw. He's going to come over and give me some tips on using the chainsaw and then also my next door neighbor who was out here last month cutting some timber off my land and getting that big log off my fence. He trains people for the U.S. Forest Service on the proper use of chainsaws so I'm going to get some good guidance. But uh, right now, I need to get rid of this log in the middle of my garden because I got gardening to do. So let me crank it up and start it. And because I'm not going to fall any trees, we're just going to cut out this stump. So let's see if I cut myself up. Now that I figured out how to put the helmet together with these. Adjust them. All right. And my chaps. Okay, there you go. I'm not going to start it until my son gets home and teaches me how to work this thing because I don't want to hurt myself. But I'm really excited now. I actually have a chainsaw. Brand new, never been used, full of oil and fuel. This is the bar and chain oil. This is the fuel. And uh, I know this is the... Uh, chain lock and this is the throttle right here well this is the throttle and this is the choke see I told you he's got to teach me about this thing okay Jeremy's here now to show me how to start this chainsaw so Jeremy, show me and my audience how to start that chainsaw. So the first thing you want to do is check 
<clears throat> check your fuel. And you got about halfway. And your oil. I like to make sure both are full before I get it started. It's not full at this point. So of course you want to remove the bar cover. And for getting it started, you want to put it down and see if we can figure out how to get keep it down and keep pull the trigger. And then put it all the way down into the choke position. Give it a pull. Once you hear it start going like that, well, once you hear it start to, to run. Okay. So after you got it running, you pull the trigger, or you put it up, pull the tr trigger, and it should go into the on position. Now you're ready to pull and get it started. Make sure you have eye protection before you start cutting. So thank you folks for this super awesome, wonderful birthday gift. Thank you. Well, thank you folks for joining me here at this uh, little homestead tucked high in the Cascade Ranges of the Pacific Northwest. I'm your host, Jerry Hansen. I appreciate you guys returning and watching the content I upload and create for your enjoyment. Please stay tuned for more videos by subscribing and clicking that bell icon that alerts you to new videos as I upload them. Also, be sure to click that share button and share my videos on your social media platforms. Really helps the channel out a lot. Hey, we've come a long way from homelessness to homestead. It's been quite the adventure and the journey. So stay tuned to more adventures and journeys as you watch us uh, evolve into a legitimate homestead. I'm still learning like learning how to run a chainsaw a real chainsaw stay tuned we'll see you guys again bye bye